hello there. Well, we've just taken delivery of the new yarn bookazine from Shapiers. I love these and they always sell phenomenally well. So I'm going to share my excitement today because usually I pour over this at my desk, get loads of inspiration, but I actually haven't opened this copy because what we thought might be a bit of fun to do was, well, actually go through it together and see what there is. So I'm going to take you through it page by page almost. Okay, so here we are, front cover of yarn. I've been told I've got to show you the spine as well, because how pretty is that? It looks really, really beautiful. So we're going to open this together. Now, I've got to try and keep it in the same place, because otherwise you won't see half of it. So we're going to have a quick flick through. Now, what they do with this is they do theme these magazines beautifully. The last one was Woman, um, and that was a fabulous theme. And this is just so folksy throughout. It's really, really pretty. Love that. So let's have a look at what there is. Lots of nice... Qu Ooh! Oh, I like that. I'm not sure I'd wear that, but I do like that. So this is all about folklore. Oh, look at that garland. That's made... Ah, that's done by Tatiana. Tatiana is a blogger that we've worked with here and designer, and she's been in our shop. Does some fabulous stuff, but how amazing is that? That is all crocheted, and it's crocheted in Callista and Twinkle. Can you see it there hanging? It's a lot of work for a Christmas decoration, but it really, really is pretty. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is nice. This is done in the shape of Maxi Sugar Rush. Nice that they show it with two colourways as well. It looks completely different in different colours. Because I wouldn't look at it there, but I really like it in the plum. The Olga Cardigan by Susan Walsh. That's lovely. Oh, there you go. So, what else? <gasps> Happy Folk Blanket in Callista. That's nice as well. That's a big crochet project, but look at these big motifs, aren't they? They're fabulous. <gasps> then we go on to Christmas cuddles, Christmas cushions. Ooh, oh, I like his twinkly beard. So the Farah scarf, what's that? That's done in alpaca rhythm. Alpaca rhythm is so beautifully soft, it's gorgeous. So let's see what else we've got. Oh, there's the Farah scarf again done. What a lovely little design. And that is crocheted as well. That's really nice. Oh, hello, Deirdre. This is done by Deirdre, who did the Ubuntu, did Sophie's Universe. Um, oh, that's nice. A little doorstop. I lifted, there was some uh, crochet look doorstops yesterday, Marks and Spencer's, but it wasn't as pretty as that. So, oh, look. Beautiful Fair Isle stocking. That's done in Colour Crafter, which is their acrylic yarn. That's, that's really nice. And that's okay. Goodness me, look at the size of that quilt. That's fabulous. Another crocheted bedspread. So then they're to to taking you through some of their accessories and so on, which they do. Bag. Oh, those bags in Katona are really pretty. Look at the colourful bag handles. Crochet dress. I'm not sure I've quite got the figure for a crochet dress. but they And again, in two different colourways, just to show you how different it can look. Always some really good articles that are worth worth going through or oh, like those socks as well so can you <gasps> the ubuntu now i'm part way through this which won't surprise you because i'm part way through lots of things but this is a great crochet along done by deirdre um i'm selling really well there's some fabulous facebook groups for it oh and we like the frida shawl as well that looks like a really 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 nice easy knit another sweater there crocheted garment oh that's pretty thread painting punch needle embroidery that's different now what we were, oh, little toys. I'm not much of a toy maker, but that one is quite sweet. Oh, and Lucy liked this one when we looked at it before. That's a nice knitted sweater. That one's done in stone washed and river washed. Some more door stops. And then I'm not going to take you through the next bit because it's the pattern book. So we're just going to flick through, but you can see that the patterns are really, really, really easily explained. And then this is a nice bit. They give punch cards at the end. All your abbreviations there and then punch cards so you can put your colour of your shade, your shade of yarn through and note down the colour. So that, loads and loads of inspiration there. There are quite a few things in there I'd like to make, but that won't surprise you. Really like that sweater. That's probably my standout favourite. 